October 29, 1947, the UN partition will divide Palestine into two states, one Arab and one Jewish. This is in an effort to lessen regional turbulence. After centuries of wandering and migration, the Jewish people have returned to this holy land. France becomes the world's fourth nuclear power after detonating an atomic bomb. Typhoon Mary, packing 135 mile per hour winds, hits Hong Kong, killing many and leaving a American troops in Vietnam continue to battle communist forces rooted out in deadly games of guerrilla warfare. OPEC declares an oil embargo in response to the U.S. aid of Israel during the Yom Kippur War. Muslim radicals have forced the Shah of Iran to flee the country and find safe harbor. Global surface temperature will likely rise from another 10 degrees Fahrenheit during the 21st century. An outbreak of twisters had torn through the Midwest, leaving meteorologists stumped at the frequency of these bizarre occurrences. Coalition force from 34 nations has been commissioned with expelling Iraqi forces from Kuwait after Iraq's invasion. Without warning, a massive tsunami struck Thailand earlier this morning. We're still... Islamic terrorists have perpetrated one of the greatest tragedies of the decade. September 11th is a day we will never forget. The European Union has been formed in efforts to stabilize international trade and strengthen the region's global position. Gas prices have risen to unprecedented numbers, worsening concerns of a global recession. has plunged into what could be this century's greatest economic catastrophe. This is a glorious day for the world. It is a victory for all of us. Finally, peace in the Middle East. Okay, hey, look. Okay. Look, Mary, your mommy's gonna be on TV. Moments ago, the Rabbinical Council convened here at the historic Wilshire Boulevard Temple. Religious leaders from throughout the Southland, including our mayor, sat down to discuss the ramifications of a peace treaty in the Middle East. Most of the leaders that I talked to had praise for the president of the Central European Bank, Adrian Romano, the chief architect of the peace accord. And in a few moments, we're going to take you inside the temple where a press conference is about to... Like everything is moving. Okay, we are just gonna keep rolling until we run out of tape. Mary! It's okay, she's asleep. We tried calling, but all the phone lines are dead. Mark called.
Hey, sugar. We had an earthquake. I know, sweetheart. You are so brave. Then do you want me to watch SpongeBob? <laughs> okay. Okay, go back to sleep. I sent my prayers, Mommy joining him. God likes prayers. Okay. Now, now I, I lay, lay me down, down to sleep. To pray the Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, Is it a mommy work day tomorrow? Yeah. Let me go to the park. In the morning. Yay. Okay. It's estimated the death toll at 450 casualties, with hundreds more injured. Officials at FEMA have promised the state of California immediate assistance. Which led Pakistan and India to join Romano's World Peace Consortium, adding two important pieces towards achieving its ultimate goal. At a press conference earlier today, President Romano had this to say about the new members. We are so happy that our Pakistani and Indian friends have decided to join us. We will be an unbeatable union, and I should hope the rest of the world will come around to our way of thinking. News Channel 7, breaking news. A large earthquake struck Japan early this morning. Several structures in Tokyo's downtown area have collapsed, and aid workers expect casualties to be very high. Seismologists in Japan rate the earthquake at around 8.1, by far the largest in recent history. Everybody's okay. Mark, why are you here? Cosgrove is sending me to Atlanta. When? This afternoon. Washington wants a few of us to go down there and figure out a potential banking crisis in Europe. It's too bad you're going to miss your weekend with Mary. Well, that's just it, Al. I want to take her with me. <sighs> Come on. This is Atlanta. She hasn't seen her grandpa since our divorce. Allison, this earthquake is going to consume you for the next week. We know how this works. Let me take her out of here so you don't have to worry about it. She is well taken care of, so no. I don't want her in Los Angeles right now. What are you talking about? Daddy! Hey, gorgeous, come here. Oh, how are you? Honey, can you say goodbye to your daddy? Where are you going? Daddy is going to Atlanta. He's going to go see Papa. Can I go, Papa? Oh, he's with me going to his fishing boat. Let Mommy talk to Daddy, OK? OK. Bye, Daddy. Bye, baby. Give me, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. What? She asked, I told her. Now she's going to be talking about Papa and fishing for the next two weeks. Well, then let her come along. No, you are not taking her. Allison, this is two weeks. This is going to consume you for that amount of time anyway no, with this no, earthquake. No, you cannot make this about my job, OK? We settled that in court. The phone. <sighs> yeah, hi, Vic. Yeah. See you in two weeks. Yeah, I can be there. Bye. Okay, let's hurry up. You need help? No, I can do it. Oh. 
Okay, I'll be right outside. Close the door. Hey, sorry, Vic. Yeah, I can swing by Caltech. What time is the press conference? No, fine. <laughs> yeah, I was just using this brief moment in time to take Mary to the park. No, no, not a problem. I just figured I'd be chasing down stories for the next... Did you hear that? Vic? Vic? Finish? Mary? I'm Detective Strand. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I read your statement. You suspect your ex-husband has your daughter? Yes. Uh, why do you suspect him? Just before Mary disappeared, he wanted to take her to Atlanta. That's where he grew up. Uh, what does he do? He is a data analyst for the CIA. He works out of the federal building on Wilshire. Well, we'll put that in the system. If you have a picture of your daughter, that'll be helpful to us to use. This is the most recent. It was taken when she turned five. She's a pretty girl. Do you know if your husband has left Atlanta already? I went to his house. He wasn't there. Well, have you tried calling him? The phones are dead. Well, look, no flights are going out of LAX right now. We're going to contact Burbank and Long Beach, OK? We're going to let them know. And the park. The earliest I can get somebody out there is tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? I know. But since this earthquake, we have over 1,000 missing persons. My daughter. She is all alone. I understand. Look, get some of your friends. Have someone stay at your house. Have another person stay at a home that Mary knows, like with a best friend or a nanny. Look, Miss Thompson. I've been on this force for over 20 years. I've never seen anything like this. I feel like there's something bigger going on. Do you know what I mean? Thank God the phones are working. Call your ex-husband now.
nothing in the bathroom. We'll find her. I'm sure Mark has her. Did you see him after the earthquake? Was he acting strange, anything? He came in, asked for some time off. Does he ever take time off? No. She saw us fight. Maybe she ran away, and then the earthquake. Mark has her. I'm sure of it. And we'll find it. I've already put phone calls out. Cosgrove. What was so damn important in Atlanta? What do you mean? Why did you send Mark there? I didn't. What do you mean you didn't? He said you were flying him out to Atlanta. He wanted to take Mary. Allison, I, I don't know what to tell you. several Middle Eastern leaders and expressed plans to begin his long-term goal of expanding the European Union into a global organization which would help ensure sustainable peace between the nations across the world. Coming up, the Northeast is bracing itself for two incoming storm systems. Record snowfall is expected tonight in the New York area, where residents are stopping Mar? up on provisions. We'll be back in a minute. Mark? Need your help. Weird. I've heard about these before, but I never thought I'd get my hands on one. Can you read it? This is government encrypted. It could take days to hack into it. I, I just care about his emails. If there's anything about Mary. Wait, okay. Um, what are we looking for? Airline information where he might have gone, anything, meetings he might have had. There are 12 emails mentioning meetings, one of which occurred in the last two days. There's the address. OK, print that out, too. generous emergency support to nations in Eastern Europe following the deadly floods that have occurred in the region. Floods in Georgia were unprecedented and tragic, but it also gave us the opportunity to begin a dialogue with Russia. It is as though one door is closed and another became open. Tell us about the New World Order. It is a movement. It is a very exciting. Uh, it is the people that have created this. 
as each nation uh, unite and come together, they are forming a new world order. to meet with someone. With you, I'm guessing. H how about the little girl? Have you seen her? She's missing. Please. Good day, Dr. Shrega Gerafte. daughter has been taken by God. What the hell is that supposed to mean? She's in a safer place than the rest of us. Look around you. You'll have your answers. I don't understand. Another yeah. earthquake has struck mainland China. We're seeing massive left hopeless as another wildfire swept through. Well, that struck the eastern coast of Australia. People are waiting to see if the levees are going to... Such a devastation is all that's left in the wake of another... It's bad news from Wall Street today. Stocks take another... Something. You know where Mark is? There. Mark booked two tickets to Tel Aviv. He left last night. He has a room at the Del Monte Hotel in Jerusalem reserved for two nights. Israel? Why Israel? Wait a minute. One more thing. <laughs>
What? The chip. You can have the chip. I don't care about the chip, but I want my daughter. Oh, well, that's impossible. Where is she? In the most remote corner of the world, I'm sure. Is she in Israel? Is Mark in Israel? With Mary? This is so much bigger than you. Syrian national. Syrian? Doesn't mean anything, though. His passport could be a fake. What else was I supposed to do, John? You come to me first, like Mark should have. What is Mark doing in Israel, John? I honestly don't know. Look, you wanted me to come to you? Well, here I am. It has been a day since Mary went missing. Time is running out for her, for me, maybe even for Mark. I know that he would hurt her. I know it. I have to get to them. That man said that they are in Israel. Look, I can get you a ride to Arizona. From there, take a plane from Flagstaff. I don't have that kind of time. You know it as well as I do. I can't get you there any faster. The airports are closed, earthquake damage. I'll contact the embassy. They'll pick him and Mary up. And what if they don't? They will. What would you do if it were your sons, John? So you're a reporter? Huh? A reporter? You're going to report this uh, Romano's peace treaty? It's a joke, you know? This peace treaty. There is no peace in the Middle East. OK, don't listen to me. Just like most Americans choose not to listen. Please, I'm, I'm just trying to relax. 
fine. We make a uh, small talk. Have you seen um, have you seen any good movies lately? <laughs> ah, there, you smile. It's up. Allison, nice to meet you. You. So, we have family in Israel. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Please return to your seats and buckle your safety belts. We have a weather system ahead and we'll be experiencing some slight turbulence. Turbulence does not affect you? I fly a lot. Let me walk in the way of peace and guide my steps in direction in peace so that I arrive at my destination safe and sound. Amen. There. There what? There, now I am not afraid. Because you prayed. Because I put my faith in God. The plane could still fall. Yeah, if this is God's will, so be it. But I still put my faith in God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain again. We are unable to avoid the oncoming thunderstorm. I ask that all passengers return to your seats right away. Tel Aviv in one hour 45. See? Now we live to see another day. reporting for Radio Tel Aviv as Israel settles into the peace agreement brokered by EU President Adrian Romano a growing opposition movement has risen urging the government to back out of the treaty street protesters in Jerusalem Tel Aviv Haifa and Ashdod had to be broken up by military and police several injuries were reported the demonstrations were organized by students who have been lobbying the government not to trust the European leader. Hi, English? Yes. I'm here to meet my
meet my husband. He checked in last night with our daughter. Uh, your name? Allison Thompson. My husband is Mark Thompson. You are a reporter? Yes. We have many reporters here in Jerusalem right now. It is a very busy time. Did you find him? Yes, uh, Mr. Thompson checked in uh, last night. With our daughter? Uh, I'm sorry, I do not know Mrs. Thompson. Do you have a key so I can put my things in the room? Of course. You're here for the uh, peace accord? Yes. Here you go. Would you like some help with your bag? Messages for this room? Tell me what this means. Of course. It is an address in the old city. Uh, with a name. Hanifa. Are you here to meet my husband, Mark Thompson? Oh, Mr. Cook. Do you have the package? Yes. Give it to me. It's not safe with you. Mark has it. 
Please, I need to find my husband. He has our daughter. Not here. He's watching all the time. Oh. Oh. that name before it's come up before we are true believers believers in what there are events coming into play right now here in the holy land and around the world this world is dying business markets are collapsing banks are disappearing into the night nations are in financial ruin and as people we are morally bankrupt what does that have to do with mark your husband knew all this he was helping us Helping with what? From the embassy? It was a man. 
My daughter with him. He sent me to help you find her. Was she in the explosion? No. She's sick. explosion there was a power struggle in the Knesset. They've expelled the Prime Minister. Is this a funeral procession? Who died? Two protesters from the street. We met them. Do you remember? They died because they were a threat to the government. They were watching. How long was I in the hospital? This all has happened in the last 24 hours. Mark has something to What did they want? This is what they want. Mark found something. I was going to give it to the Watchers. Or blackmail them, or I don't know. Why? Why would he bring Mary? Unless... Unless I got it all wrong and she's back in the States. What does your heart tell you? That she's somewhere here. I need to find Mark. Where did you last see him? Let's 
Get out. What? I'll meet you back at the hotel. They're deporting Americans. You've got to go. What about you? No. Mrs. Thompson, have you found your husband yet? Any messages? No messages. Are you leaving today? Why would you ask that? Many Americans are leaving. for a car to take you to the airport. 
I'm not leaving. Please, Mrs. Thompson. Come on, take your embassy. are on their way to take you to the embassy. We gotta go. Don't answer me. Now you have seen what we see. Now you are a believer. I don't know what you're talking about. My child is missing. So is mine. So is my father. As are my brothers. She's not safe here. You should have taken her to the American Embassy. I'm not leaving without my daughter. Your daughter is not here. This is a place for only true believers. Believers in what? The end of days. It's Hank. We meet tonight. After two of the most difficult days in world diplomacy, we have endured the shock of watching our Israeli brothers and sisters fall victim to a cruel attack against its government. The Jews stand alone as an angry and stubborn voice against God and the world. We must not, we cannot let the Jewish voice of tyranny, oppression, and terror Stand in front of truth and enlightenment. Let this be a warning to the Jews of Israel. You are the enemy of the world. So it is written. So it shall be. Why would he say those things? He says those things because he is the end. He seeks to destroy Israel and the Jewish people. And he will cause the destruction of the earth. Your husband knew this. This is why he contacted us when he had information on Romano. Mark isn't involved in some doomsday conspiracy. This is no conspiracy. I flew to Los Angeles to meet with Mark. That's why I was there. Your husband had the proof that we needed to expose to the world who this man truly is. It could save countless lives.
Encrypt it. Can you access it? Of course. Give me some time. Mark came to Israel to give you that disc. Yes. Where is he now? before we could. Mary. I don't know. I want to see him. What? No, no, this is impossible. It's too dangerous. found God in his last moment. How do you know that? I know that he repented to God. He prayed. Mark? God likes prayers. escalated further today between the Israeli government and the New World Order. After pulling out of the peace agreement, the Israeli military positioned tank battalions along the Syrian and Jordanian borders to discourage any encroachment by individual forces. Agent Romano, leader of the New World Order, warned that Israel's aggression was a threat to international security and demanded that Israel disarm its military within 48 hours. Inside the Israeli capital, a curfew has been declared and all foreign nationals are being asked to leave the country immediately. Do you know how many stories I did on banks collapsing, America's recession, hurricane, ice caps melting, the ocean rising? You need to connect the dots so that you can see what we all see. Do you believe in God? Because she is out there. And as long as I am still here, I'm going to find her. I see. Allison. We found something. What did you find? 
Rachel anything about my daughter? We found children. Children? Hundreds of children. Maybe thousands. Where are they? What are they doing with them? The New World Order has set concentration camps outside of Jerusalem. They are taking the Jews and marking them. Marking them? Yes. Kakuim, you know, tattoos? Because Jews cannot be buried in Jewish cemeteries if they have tattoos on them. This is what Hitler did to the Jews. Tattooed their arms with serial numbers. It's part of the prophecy. Where, where is it? Well, nobody knows. It's in the slums outside of Jerusalem. There has to be a way to find it. Well, only the ones who are marked. about your tattoo. Please. What do you want? This. This. Who gave you this? Who do you think? They round us up in the middle of the night to give us ID marks. They take us to detention centers. Where they took you, did you see any children? Screams, uh, but it could have been women. Women or children? I, I don't know. Take us there. I can't take you there. If I tell you where it is, they will kill me. I will call the embassy. We will all go together. You don't. I have friends in the State Department. You don't understand. The NWO has rid the embassy of all the Americans. There is no one there to protect you now. You should have left when you had the chance. Dead. Hello? Allison, thank God. Cosgrove? They closed down the embassy. I know. We've got to get you out of here. Romano was planning a major assault against Israel. Iran has already pointed their weapons at Jerusalem. Pakistan has mobilized its forces at the border. Allison, you are in the eye of the storm. Our intel says they're planning to launch within 24 hours. John, there's a, a building outside of Masada that has children. I think Mary's there. Allison, wait. Let me help you for... Hello? John? Yeah. This is a new medical sequence. Let's see what I can find. Bomb. You make the detonator by attaching the wires. 
Yeah. There could be war at any minute. The Prime Minister and Romano pulled back from the talks with Syria. The only answer now is war. The explosion at the dome. That was you, wasn't it? Why do you think this? The weapons, your cause. You believe this is the end of times. The Bible said that the temple would be destroyed. You destroyed it. Would there be Jesus without Judas? God destroyed it. Hundreds of people died at that shrine. This war is bigger than all of us. You, me, even your family. Alice, these are coordinates. It's a geographical location. We should go. You cannot leave. I'm going to find my daughter. Your daughter is dead. Don't say that! It's Huck! Please. She is at that warehouse. I just want to find my little girl. It's true. It's Huck, she's no risk to us. We did what we needed to do. If God wants to take us now, so be it. No. We are not done yet. There is still more for us to do. Please. I'm sorry. We have come too far. Put it down! What are you doing? Put it down. I will kill you. You know I will. Kill me? You cannot kill me! Anisha Leah Hashem! Go. Go find your daughter. Go with God.
This is your holy war. I don't care. My most merciful God, who of great love came down and took flesh to save all, save me. By thy grace, I pray. You have said, he who believeth in me shall live and shall never see death.